Hey there, Alex Grimm here, director of bands at FJ Wrights High School. As we start our upcoming school year and the upcoming marching band season, we here in the Wrights Band Program want to highlight some of the amazing reasons we want you to be a part of our marching band program and the band program in general. Being a part of something at the high school level is so important, and we hope that band will be one of the things you take a part of. If you're not getting ready to be a high school student, it is totally okay to join the marching band program as a seventh grader or eighth grader, as long as you have a director recommendation from your middle school. The band program here is unique, successful, and fun, and we definitely want you to be a part of it. But we know that you may have questions, concerns, or you may not even know what being a part of a marching band is yet. So sit back and enjoy some of the amazing memories and information that our students and staff are going to share with you. The Mighty Marching Panthers is the Wright's marching band and consists of all band instruments, woodwind, brass, and percussion. The percussion section is split up into our marching drum line and the front ensemble. If you do play an instrument such as the oboe or bassoon, those are not traditionally marched. However, there are many opportunities for you, such as learning a new instrument, joining our percussion section, or the color guard section. Our color guard section is truly outstanding. Students learn a variety of dance as well as a variety of equipment that they will perform on. More on that section later. We do have two camps, one in late May and another in late July. Once school starts, we rehearse on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings in addition to Saturday rehearsals. We perform at all rights, home football games, and competitions around the area and the state starting in September and ending in early November. While marching band is a large commitment, it is very worthwhile. Let's hear from some of our amazing students on why our program is so worthwhile. I'm Logan Combs. Uh, I am a senior here and I play trombone, percussion, and I've been the A drum major for the past three years. I went to Helfrick and my band director was the cool dude, Mr. Goodwin. I really like how close you get with everybody uh, because at first it's like, wow, I'm really just with my section all the time, but you grow and you get to be close to everybody and there, it really gets to a point where there's not a single person that you wouldn't be able to consider, at the very least, family, uh, if not friends. I'm Josh File, and I'm a senior in the band, and I play saxophone. I went to Perry Heights Middle School, and I was taught by Mr. Vile and Mrs. Grace before that. So my favorite part of being in the marching band was when we made our great comeback as a junior, and we made it all the way back from not making it to semi-state to making it to fifth in state, which was our goal the entire year. We exceeded all of our expectations, and we finally got an incredible payoff at the end. There was nothing like uh, performing in Lucas Oil Stadium, which is where the Colts play, and standing out there and receiving our fifth place award and then running through the tunnel, excited and chanting and all that, and that's what marching band's all about. It's about the fun and the payoff with your friends. Uh, I'm Luke Isom. I'm a senior. I've played, in the marching band, I've played trumpet, mellophone and French horn. I went to Perry Heights. Uh, my band director first was Mr. Farney, then it was Mr. Emmert for a little while, and then it was Miss Grace, and then it was Mr. Emmert for a little while again, and then in my eighth grade year it was Mr. Vile. I wouldn't say nervous, I would say very unenthusiastic because I wanted to quit after my eighth grade year. My parents made me stay with marching band and it was definitely the best thing that's happened to me because I went into it super unenthusiastic and every single person there from the very first day at band camp treated me like I've been there like five years like they treated me like family and it was a really it was something I've been missing because I never really had like people I could call my actual real friends that actually cared about me throughout like middle school and elementary school. I'm Adam Wigan, I'm a junior and I'm in percussion. 
I went to Perry High tonight, a variety of band directors there. Like Mr. Farney, Mr. Emmer, Miss Grace, and Mr. Vile. I was a little nervous to start it. Um, but the people were nice and accepting to help me learn stuff. I would say if you're on the fence about joining Marching Man, just do it. And if you don't like it your first year, you don't have to do it anymore after that. Do it! My name is Elizabeth Friday. I am currently a junior and I play clarinet. I attended Helfrick Park and my band director was uh, Mr. Goodwin. So in middle school, I didn't even know what marching band was. I thought it was marching in like parades, but it's absolutely not. We have our own show. And so I wasn't too nervous. Um, the first day it was very different than what I expected, but everyone kept telling me it's gonna get better and it did. And I definitely enjoyed it. But also, if you're on the fence, like you can see that some of us have been doing band for all these years, and we're still here, so there's obviously something going for the program. And I hope that you'll enjoy it and that you'll join to be a part of the Mighty Marching Panthers with us next year. My name is Cruz, I'm a senior, and I play the tenor and berry sax. I attended Helper Park and my band director is Mr. Douglas Goodwin. I was mainly involved in choir, was a big one, as well as just some outside gigs for playing. And I mean, I, I, I made it work really well. My directors were super, uh, were super good with that and arranging everything so it worked. And I mean, it might be stressful at the beginning, but like once you deal with that, you will be absolutely fine if you're in multiple activities. Apart from marching band and concert band, I participate in golf, which is in the spring for boys and for girls it's in the fall. Either one would be very easy to do with band. For boys golf, I have to go to matches after concert band rehearsals and it's pretty easy to fit in because you can just Maybe you have to give up a rehearsal or two and a practice for golf or two, but it's really only a few times and minimal pain there. And I'm also in student council, which it's really easy to fit in your schedule because student council, there's a lot of activities during the fall and you can just choose when. There's plenty of activities to fit in with your marching schedule. Additionally, you can be involved in multiple activities and still be in the Mighty Marching Panthers. Athletics, academics, theater, and other programs are just an example of our students that are involved in activities outside of the marching band. We do work with all sports and all athletics, all academics, and all other programs to try and make sure that you can be in all of the programs that you would like to be in. We just ask that you get us schedules from your coaches so that we can work with them to make our schedules work best for you throughout the season. Hi, my name is Emily Houston and I'm one of the directors of the FJ Wrights Color Guard. When you join the Wrights Color Guard, you are joining a community of hardworking and supportive teammates. But you might be asking yourself, what even is Color Guard? Color Guard combines the elements of dance and spinning flags, rifles and sabers to music to tell a story. You might be thinking again, how am I supposed to spin a flag? But no worries, we will teach you everything you need to know so no previous experience is needed. This unique opportunity will allow you to learn new skills, perform for hundreds of people, but most importantly, gain a brand new family of friends. We can't wait to meet you. Hi, my name's Emma. I'm a senior this year. Um, I've been in guard for four years, so freshman through senior year. Um, I went to Alfred Park Middle School and I think that you should join the Mighty Marching Panthers because it has truly been the greatest experience I've gone through. And I'm not really much of like a sports person or activities person, but I found this. And when I found this, I found where I belonged. And there are so many people that I've met through this and so many coaches that I appreciate everything they've done for me. And it's really meant a lot and it's made me grow as a person. Hi, my name is Marla. Um, I'm a senior. Um, I've been in guard for 
five years now. And I went to Perry Heights Middle School. And you should join Color Guard because you're gonna meet a lot of great friends that you'll have for the rest of your life. And you're gonna learn a lot of things that you would not be able to learn anywhere else. Hi, my name is Heather Kalen, and I'm a senior this year. I've been doing guard for three years and I went to Helford Park Middle School. I think you should join Color Guard because you gain a lot of friends and even though it's really time consuming, you like get a new outlet for creativity and a way to express yourself. Hi. I'm Joe Nelson. I'm in the eighth grade and I'm in the front ensemble. I go to Alfred Park and my band director is Mr. Gidwe. If you're in middle school and you're thinking about joining, or if you're just thinking about joining in general, you should try it. It's fun. The people are nice. We're not going to be like, oh, you stink. We're going to be nice and give constructive criticism. And you also get to go fun places. I started in middle school because it sounded fun, and now I think I'm a lot better than I would have been if I didn't join. Nothing to be nervous about, because everyone's nice. My name is Jackson Forster. <laughs> I'm a senior, and I'm in the percussion section. Um, just jump in. It, I mean, you're going to like it. it. you got so many cool opportunities, and it, it just teaches you a lot of good lessons. Hello, I'm Mr. Goodwin. I'm the band director at Helfrick Park. Words cannot begin to express how proud I am of all of the students who I have taught over the years. Seeing students open their case for the first time, hearing them play their first note brings a special joy that I can't explain, but you feel. Joining the high school marching band brings that excitement back. It's that new opportunity to try something different, to take all of the skills you've built through your middle school years and apply those into something new is both exhilarating and exciting. If you're on the fence, if you're not sure if Marching Man is for you, you're not sure you're gonna fit in, I urge you, give it a try. I know you're not gonna be disappointed. You're gonna join a network of kids that are going to be there to support you through high school and may become some of your best friends for life. Do it for at least a year because then you can really decide if you it's for you or not. Uh, uh, going from the beginning to the end of a season uh, can really give you that thought process of I enjoyed it or I didn't enjoy it. That was the most fun I've had in the past 10 years of my life. So just go through it for a year, uh, at least, and then make your decision from there. We hope that this video has shed some light on the amazing opportunities you have here at the Mighty Marching Panthers at FJ Wright's High School. We hope to see you out at our first spring training event on April 27th. We'll start that around 3 o'clock p.m. and we'll be done around 5 o'clock p.m., but we also have a booster meeting and our official kickoff to the marching band season meeting at 5.30 that evening in the Wrights Cafeteria. We can't wait to see you, and 2021 is going to be our best season yet with the Mighty Marching Panthers. That's all, That's all folks. <laughs>